Hey, Carrie, how are we doing today? How you doing? I'm well. I don't know. Well, thanks for asking. I don't know. I'm just kind of wondering. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Sorry. Uh, it's Josh Allen from Buck Report. I'm sorry, I'll announce that. It's all good. Um, just kind of, <laughs> just kind of wondering throughout this whole pre, uh, you know, pre draft process, the pro day, the interviews. Has there been anyone, former player, current player, that you've kind of um, seeked advice from, picked their brain on the what to, what to expect? And then follow up question is, have you spoken with the Buccaneers at all during the process? Um, yes, I'll, I'll answer that first. I have spoken with the. Buccaneers, um, and it's crazy that you ask who I've been, um, you know, getting advice from and, and and who's been helping me through this process. Uh, one of my best friends, Devin White, we talk uh, day in and day out. Um, he's really – but, it's, you know, the conversations we have is just more about, um, you know, staying focused, um, you know, putting my best foot forward and making sure that I go out and, uh, you know, showcase what the people are around here already know that I can do. Alex Fleming, Florida Sun. How you doing today, Mr. Vincent? I'm well. How about yourself? I'm um, pretty good. It's pretty here in Florida. That's that. Uh... Um, that LSU squad from a year ago was special. And now that you see that most of your friends and patriots that were on the squad are either in the NFL or about to be in the NFL, uh, tell me where you stack up amongst all of the defensive backs in the SEC. And what in particular do you need to work on to get ready for the next level in the NFL? Um, well, personally, I feel like I'm the best slot corner in the SEC. I felt like that when I was here. I feel like I'm the best slot corner in this draft. Um, I won't say that there's one thing that I specifically need to work on as a player, as a person. There's always things that you can get better at. And um, I'm working on little things uh, day in and day out uh, with coaches, with my trainers, uh, Ryan Clark, Coach Raymond. So, um you know, there's always room for improvement, but um, I, I feel that, I, that I'm on the right foot and on the right track. Jeremy? Hey, Kerry, this is uh, Jeremy Turner from the Cold Park Report, Bills News. A two-part question here. You faced a lot of talent at LSU the last few years in practice. How does that kind of help you translate uh, your game to the next level? And have you met with the Buffalo Bills during this process? Uh, yes, I've met with the Buffalo Bills a few times, actually. And, um, man, you come here uh, as a DB, you're going to face guys like Jamar Chase. You're going to face Terrace Marshall. You're going to face Justin Jefferson. And, um, you know, these are guys that are that are the best of the best. Uh, you know, one being the, the, the best receiver in college football, or another which is top five receiver in the league right now. And um, I don't see how that wouldn't help anyone. Uh, they for sure have benefited me as a player, as, as I believe I've done so for them. And, um, you know, being able to, to compete against those guys, it, it, it just boosts my confidence and reassures me that I'm for sure ready for the next level. Hey, Kari, this is uh, Josh Sidley with Louisiana Gridiron Football. Uh, speaking of preparing for the next level, uh, how do you feel uh, working with uh, Mo Wells and the House of uh, Athlete prepared you for your pro day today? Uh, greatly. I owe everything to them. Um, the best trainer and, and speed trainer in, in the country, Mo Wells, and then they're able to take him and put him in what I believe is the best facility in the country, which is House of Athlete in Western Florida. Um, it, it's second to none. Um, Mo's a great, a great trainer. He's an even better person. And, um, uh, yeah, I, I, I really owe him uh, all of this. He's, he's done a lot with me. He's worked with me. Um, you know, I've had the opportunity. To, I've been knowing him for a few years, so uh, I've been able to, you know, work with him on, on multiple occasions. But uh, that, that guy is one of the best in the country. Hey, Kerry, it's Michael Cobble from Baton Rouge. Um, you kind of just answered it, but if you would, roll back the clock about a year and, and take me through your decision to opt out. And then once you made that decision, how did you formulate a game plan to ensure that you would be prepared uh, for today, how much time did you spend around the facility, working with Corey? You talked about working with Mo. I mean, how dedicated did you need to be to, to make sure you're ready for the today? So the decision was obviously hard. Um, you know, I started playing football in 2007, uh, and all the way up until last year, um, I played football and had a football season consecutively. So it was definitely hard. But, um, you know, we face things uh, as a country, um, as a, you know, that we've never seen before with the, you know, with the COVID-19. Um, I contracted it myself, uh, recovered from it, and, and picked up some symptoms that, that nobody could really identify. And um, I felt like it was just best for myself, you know, with the uncertainty of the disease. 
to to just step away from the game and try to focus on myself to make sure that my myself and my family would be healthy and straight. Um, but it was definitely hard. And um, uh, once I once I did that, uh, I went home back to Houston for about a week. Came back to Baton Rouge, and uh, me and Ryan Clark got to it. Uh, we watched a lot of football, practiced a lot of football, we worked out a lot, and um, I'm I'm grateful to have people like that around here. Um, former alum, Mo Wells, Ryan Clark. Um, I mean, it's, you you come here, you. The, the networking is great. You you have the best people in your corner. How are we doing today? This is Samuel Rodriguez from News Stitch Media. I wanted to know, you have been known to have receiver-like hands and that concentration in the cornerback spot. How do you feel that's going to help you excel at that cornerback in the NFL? Uh, I mean, usually when guys talk about DBs, is it is a pass breakups and, and, and knocking down balls, but um, you know, I, whenever I see a ball, I'm trying to catch it, whether it be with with, with one hand or, or, or one finger. You know, any, I feel like any time a ball is in my radius, I can catch it. Um, I feel like that separates me from a lot of guys. Um, a lot of DBs are just not used to catching balls. Um, it's just pause, but that's just something that uh, I'm, I'm obviously – I feel great at. Hey, Kerry, Jared Rose or TigerDetails.com. Um, I wanted to get your thoughts on the significance of four of you guys running the sub 4 4 40s. And uh, for you in particular, you run the 4 3 8 along with Terrace and Jamar and uh, decided to come back and, and run again, which uh, the rest of those guys didn't. And you, you tr trimmed that time that much further to that 4 3 3 and uh, why that was important to you or what your thought process was there. Um, so I'll just start out by saying I definitely didn't execute my 40. Uh, I still have a lot more in the tank. I uh, probably won't run it again. Um, but the guys who uh, you know watch my film, who know me, they know I can run. Um, I mean, that's just that's just a given. But uh, I mean, hey, that just shows that that myself and these guys, we've been working. Um, four three is is by all means not easy at all. Uh, I know people kill for four three. Um, I'm not satisfied with it, but uh, I'm so I'm I'm so excited for my guys, uh, Terrace, uh, Racy. And and Jamar, who were able to to also clock down those four threes with, with myself. Uh, Kerry, here's my cousin Alice from Timeout here in Brazil. Uh, congratulations for the pro day and for going for the NFL. All right, uh, Brazil. Uh, you say that you see yourself like the best corner, the slot corner on the draft, and you talk a little about your qualities. But what do you think is your main quality that a team's gonna uh, get it if they pick you on this draft? Simple the versatility. I've literally played every position in the secondary here at LSU in the best conference in the country. Cornerback, safety, slot corner, outside corner. Uh, I've been in the box. I've been in, I've been in middle field safety. Um, I do it all. So when you get me, you don't just get a corner. You get a safety. You get a nickel. You get all of them in one. Hey, Kerry. Brooks Cabino from The Advocate. Uh, good to see you again and talk with you. Um, you know, you, you mentioned being in Western Florida training, um, you know, your decision to opt out last year. How much of that did you spend in Florida throughout the season? I mean, what was it like seeing the, the defense and, you know, the team go through that season? And how often were you, you know, talking with players and just kind of taking me through that year? So I was actually still here. Uh, I, I, I'm still here in Baton Rouge living in my same apartment. Uh, Ryan Clark has a facility here, Traction, which a lot of uh, NFL guys and and a former alum like myself go to, to work out and train with. So I was still seeing these guys. I was able to have conversations with these guys. And, um, you know, it's definitely uh, difficult, especially after winning the national championship and, and then and coming back and having a, a 500 season. But um, I feel like those guys, have, uh, I'm not going to say that they needed that, but they've learned from that. Um, you know, we, have a, we didn't have many vets return. Um, this year we got, we got some veteran players, and I feel like that's going to be a boost uh, for these guys as they prepare for this upcoming season. Yeah, Kerry, you mentioned uh, your 40 time and being a little disappointed with it. What were you expecting to post in that particular event? And just what was sort of your focus uh, in training? Uh, my top end speed is second to none. Uh, I've clocked at 24, 25 miles per hour a few times. So uh, I know that my top end is, 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 is there. Um, I really was focusing on more of the get out. Uh, my first one, I stumbled. That's when I went 4-3-8. And uh, my second one, I feel like I, I could have let myself, you know, rest a little bit more. You know, the guys, after they dropped their 4-3s, didn't run again. Me, myself, knowing I had more, um, wanted to, you know, go again. Uh, but 
like I said, I mean, it is what it is. Every, I believe that everything is written, uh, like Terry say, says, is you know, is is meant to be. So uh, I'm 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 thankful to be even be in this position, and uh, I'm I'm ready to show that the type of ball player I am at the next level. I'm I'm, I'm glad we got through this phase.